I don't think it's heresy at all. In fact, uh, I don't guess I didn't talk about it tonight. But there's something we're part of called the Public Insight Network, uh, which is in started by uh, American Public Media, which is a big, also it's a counterpart to NPR, and it's in, anyway. And the, co the concept is really high level crowdsourcing, where you actually go out and you're s you tell people, do you want to work with journalists? Do you want to be potential sources for investigative reporting? And you have, it's fairly rigorous sign up, but then you say, what are you expert in? What, are you, what, what do you want to be asked about? What can you help in? So it's a very vetted process. There are several hundred thousand members. We're trying to expand it into n multiple languages. I think it's going to be really crucial, and this gets to the question of engagement and solutions or how people give information. The, it's not like asking what's your favorite restaurant or where do you go uh, you know, to walk your dog or your favorite beach where you can get you know, a lot of general feature, what we call feature information. This is about investigative reporting. So the process of managing that is much more crucial. And I'm totally comfortable with it as long as it's vetted. I mean, the technology, again, has created sources. I mean, uh, the, uh, guys like me, a few others here, you know, you'd get a letter. If, if you did a story and got 20 letters in the 1970s, it was like, holy shit, I got 20 letters on a story. Wow, maybe I had a source. You also got the mirror writing and the, you know, the stuff cut out from the paper that was like total whack jobs. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, the phone would ring. And you had a, cr and you want to use somebody crowdsourcing, you know, the public, a guy was calling you, well, ha what's wrong? And then you vetted it. So it's not like a totally alien idea. The best reporters would go into a neighborhood and talk to people, or they'd sit in a luncheonette or, you know, a crime happened, and you'd be knocking on doors or hanging around on the street and, and talking to people. That, you know, that's crowdsourcing. So now, how do you take the same concept and apply it and utilize the technology and vet it? And, you know, I mean, I, I could tell you stories about, and all of us, I think, who have done this, from totally anonymous guys calling and say, meet me at the corner, I got, you know, whatever. And you meet him and you get some documents. What, what would, if you got an email now from somebody or through crowdsourcing and someone said, I have information I want to share with you, can you meet me? There's nothing wrong with that. So I think it's a matter of managing it and setting up the infrastructure and news organizations to handle it and vet it in a way, again, to the, our, what we're doing where it's credible and accurate information.